G'day, Shane here from Learning Grape TV and thank you for joining me in my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me spread McLaren Vale wines to the world. Today I've got an interesting wine from an interesting project. It's a wine from the scarce, McLaren Vale Scarce Earth Project. Here, um, the uh, McLaren Vale region is trying to put forward single vin vineyard wines that show the character of the vineyard. I won't say terra, terra. The character of the vineyard. Uh, the geological map of McLaren Vale, which was released about 18 months ago, indicates there's over 40 different types of geological soils uh, here in McLaren Vale. So what they're trying to do with the Scarce Earth Project is actually bring them together. And I think they've come up with about 15 different sub-areas, if you like, with soils to try and bring it together, because 40 odds too many. And they're actually looking for wines that really show the character of the soil and that you can compare different wines from the same vintage made well, they can be made uh, differently but from the same vintage and really show the character of the vineyard so this wine made it into that they have to go through three series of tastings if it's over oaked not showing the characters they're looking for it's thrown out um, of the scarce earth project so this is the fork in the road McLaren Vale 2010 Shiraz now this is from the old, oh now I've got to get it, old Oval Estate uh, in McCrane Vale, just off Sand Road. To, I must admit I've never heard about it before. What's also interesting about this wine is it's being marketed at a much lower cost than any other scarce earth wine, and I was certainly quite intrigued with it. Just got my hands on some and thought I'd share it with you. So enough talking about it. Let's get on with the wanky thing. Wine's been open for about an hour, and uh, I felt that it was important to have the wine open for a period of time to really show. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting inundated by Shiraz aromas already, with the glass just being here, just swirling it around doing the wanky thing. So I'm getting the usual suspects. I'm getting some cherry. I'm getting some uh, blackberry. Uh, a little hint of dustiness. So I think there's just that little hint of oak. There's not a lot of oak there. Not getting a high alcohol content. And excuse me putting my glasses on. But I'm just going to check what the alcohol content is of this one. It's 14.5%. I'm certainly not getting an alcohol tingle. I'm getting, as it's opening up in the glass a little bit more, I'm getting, I'm getting some vanilla. So this is telling me that it's seen some older American oak. Uh, villa, vanilla and coconut. I'm not getting coconut, I'm, I'm definitely getting vanilla coming through. And that's associated with American oak. Very aromatic. 2010 was a great year in McLaren Vale. Uh, some people say it was a good year. I've been in McLaren Vale now uh, over the, 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 the dry years, the 07, um, well since 07, and this was certainly the best year that I've been here. That really is engaging. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, as I'm smelling that, my mouth is salivating already. So it's saying, get some wine into my mouth, because it's, it's saying it, it just smells so pleasant. And that, that's a key, I think, to a wine. You've got to, you've got to be able to smell it, stick that nose, swirl it around, stick that nose in there, do the wanky thing, and it tells you whether you think you're going to like the wine or not normally from just from smelling it. And there are wines that I don't try. Um, I smell it, don't like the smell, and go on to something else. But this wine is saying, let's do it. So, let's do it. I'll stick with that word inviting. 
there is some lovely fruit characters in here. It's just inviting you, and in this case, inviting you to have another glass. Again, I've had many a, many a wine, and also um, Shiraz um, in particular, that's heavy oaked, big, big wine, lots of fruit, lots of oak, lots of everything. And you drink it, and you think, that's okay, but you put the glass down, and you're not sure whether you really want to drink that wine. Again, have another glass. This wine is saying, I want more. So it's inviting me to have another mouthful, and I'm going to. Also, interestingly, I find this wine two halves. The front of the palate, the front of the mouth, or when you first put the wine into your mouth, I'm getting all those fruit characters. The second half of the palate, the back of the mouth into the throat, but also the finish of the wine that you're tasting, like what I'm getting now, uh, there's, it, it goes into some more developed, some more um, oak character in there. And I'm definitely getting just a hint of that American oak, uh, but not, not aggressive. You know, there's some wines you get that uh, feels like it just, um, your teeth are almost dry, uh, furry on the tongue, all that sort of stuff with all this tannin and all this acid. This is not that wine. This wine is saying, give me some more. All right, I, I find this wine absolutely intriguing and a bargain. I don't do this very often, but I don't believe this uh, wine is on sale anywhere other than uh, I'm about to put it on to the Taste McCrayon Vale. So if you're interested in this wine, contact me at Taste McCrayon Vale and I can get some for you. Now I know uh, this um, Scarce Earth wines have been sold for up to $165 a bottle. I can tell you that this wine will be less than $30. Yet to determine what the price is going to be, but it's going to be less than $30, an absolute bargain for what we're looking for. Now that I've done that plug, I'm going to enjoy this a bit more. So you go and enjoy what you're doing, and I'm going to enjoy what I'm doing. See you later. Thank you.